We just arrived at Porth Call, we're down at the bay here, the lighthouse there, and just behind that corner is Treco Bay. It's a big holiday place, caravan park, but lovely white sand beaches. Uh, we look around the coast here, the water's really green, green and clear actually, it's nice. But we're heading, gonna go down the coast there to a place called Port Talbot. Just come across the coast a little bit, found this lovely little beach all to ourselves. And look how pretty it is when you come in the morning, it's nice and quiet. We're just on uh, the cycle path now that they've built along the coast here and as you see we're just passing some lovely beaches all the way along really quiet and deserted and it just goes on and on it's such a lovely place just pulled off the coastal path there there's an old Welsh fortified manor over there with a bit of a history apparently the owner locked up his wife in one of the towers one of the lords of the manor so we're going to try and get the drone and have a quick look at it We just stumbled across this lovely old train bridge going over the canal just down there. I think you can see it. 
in a lovely area, but sadly there's an old, really old farm over there that's just dilapidated and left. Yeah, it's such a shame this old farmhouse, just taking a closer look. But would have been lovely in this day. Centuries old. And now just left, look, you see the old slate tiles just coming off the roof. Oh. So we're just following the number four cycle route now. We've just left behind Pyle and Kendrick Hill. Heading this way to, um, I think it's a place called Abba Kenvig. So you can hear the stream in the back. We've just come to this old iron works. Amazing place, didn't imagine to see this year, but unfortunately it's closed to the public. Cycling down this path, just come across this lovely site, the old colliery, 1860 to 1912. And there's so many signs around here of when it was a colliery and just behind us is the train track in the old station master's house. Just come across this monument here and as you see it's for the park, slip disaster of 1892. Sadly it says there 112 men and boys lost their lives, only 39 survivors and they've made this memorial over there and there's 112 stones in there which represent the 112 people who lost their lives here. I'm just walking on this towards a monument and I noticed all these names in the stone and then it shows that we're there together, these were families as you see here and just going up here I noticed one group and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine died there from one family alone, one of them only 15 years old. We're still carrying on the number four trail and they've made this lovely walkway for us, right through the heart of the countryside. I don't know if you can see on this river, but the colour of the stones looks like there's a lot of copper in the water. So we've just left now Talbot Green and Lantrisson behind us. And we're just going on an old route called, as you see there, the Pilgrim's Way. So we've just come up a big hill up here through a village called Bruce Saison. The Saison bit yeah, I mean an old word for Saxon. And uh, we're off now to a, an old uh, Iron Age hill fort. It might not look much, but this is the old Iron Age hill fort. There's the embankment going around here. There was a battle fought here against the Saxons. So this place is called Rue Saxon, Saison and it was the ridge of the Saxons. And so now we're nearing journey's end, but on the Garth mountain, we've come from right over the coast, right over there, way over there, all along the coast. Then we went up inland, all the way down. You see Cardiff in the distance over there. You see the sea in the distance over there. And we're headed through that. There's a little valley pass going through, down the mountain through there and home.